Outwardly, he looks like a European, and his driving habits are quite to the taste of the inhabitants of the old world. No wonder, with the expectation of this audience and created this car. But is it worth buying a Hyundai i30 in the secondary market? This car played on a sought-after golf course. Moreover, it was created purposefully for the European market, taking into account the tastes and habits of its audience. Therefore, the subcompact Hyundai quickly entered the top 20 sales leaders in its segment. No less success was prepared for him in Ukraine. The model is built on the same platform as Kia Eid, which was also developed and produced in Europe, but was released six months earlier. First, the i35 door hatchback debuted in March 2007, and the i30 combi wagon appeared in 2008. The Hyundai i30 was equipped with 1.4, 109 horsepower, 1.6, 122 horsepower, and 2.0 liter, 143 horsepower, gasoline engines, as well as two 1.6 turbo diesels. 115 horsepower and 2.0 liters 140 horsepower officially only half of the presented engines were sold on the ukrainian market a 1.6 liter turbo diesel and two gasoline fours with a volume of 1.4 and 1.6 liters the base transmission for these engines is a five-speed manual gearbox the four band automatic was offered with the most powerful 1.6 liter gasoline engine as well as with a 1.6 liter diesel engine the 2.0-liter turbo diesel, which came to us unofficially, was equipped only with a 6-speed mechanics. The power units of the Gamma series, 1.4 and 1.6 liters, are the most massive. They are almost identical in design, but they cannot boast of a decent resource. By 150,000 km, repairs are required with the replacement of piston rings and a set of connecting rod and main bearings. Both engines are also sensitive to fuel and oil quality. From bad gasoline, you will periodically have to change spark plugs and ignition coils, oxygen and mass airflow sensors, and by 100,000 km the converter may also die. Therefore, it is recommended to clean the injection system and at the same time the throttle valve assembly every 30 to 40,000 km. The motors are equipped with a chain in the drive of the gas distribution mechanism, which stretches to 100,000 km. When replacing the chain, you should not pull, otherwise it can jump a few teeth and the valves will meet the pistons. Instead of conventional gaskets, engines use sealant, which, as a rule, lasts 4-5 to five years and then dries out. However, in addition to leaks from under the valve cover or the front timing cover, oil can also leak through the crankshaft rear oil seal. By 150,000 km, the cylinder head gasket loses its tightness. It is a pity that, unlike the Kia Seed, the Hyundai i30 was not equipped with the good old 2.0-liter Beta Series engine which is durable and lasts 350,000 km before overhaul. On mechanical boxes, after 130,000 km, the gear rims, the synchronizer clutch and the third gear blocking ring wear out. The clutch mechanism often fails at 100,000 km, but there are cases of its mileage up to 150,000 km. The A4 CF1 automatic transmission is durable. She traces her pedigree from the F4 A41 unit manufactured by Mitsubishi. If the transmission oil is renewed every 60 to 90,000 km, the box will run 250,000 km before a major overhaul. True, on the automatic machines of cars of the first years of production, the output shaft often broke. The Hyundai i30 has a fully independent suspension on all wheels. At first, shock absorbers were considered its weak link, both front and rear, which often began to knock after 20,000 km. At the same time, as a rule, they changed the front stabilizer struts, but after 2009, the shock absorbers were modernized, significantly increasing their resource. Hub bearings are short-lived, the front and rear ones withstand an average of 50,000 km. But ball bearings stably serve up to 100,000 km and even more. The levers will ask for updates closer to 180,000 km, if their silent blocks do not wear out earlier. The 1.6-liter Gamma Series engine with an aluminum block and cylinder head, a CVVT valve timing mechanism is the most sought after. But you need to monitor the condition of the timing chain and oil level. By 100,000 km, the chain stretches, the crankshaft rear oil seal and the valve cover connection begin to leak. The fuel tank filler cap valve sticks creating a strong vacuum in it. An automatic transmission is preferable to a mechanical one. The weak point of the manual gearbox is the gears, the synchronizer clutch and the third gear retaining ring. In the front suspension, shock absorbers, ball bearings and silent blocks of levers usually wear out by 80,000 to 100,000 km. Hub bearings that can withstand about 50,000 km are not so durable. At the same time, 
The stabilizer struts are changing. In the rear suspension, multi-link design, pretty quickly, the body does not corrode for a long time, but its paintwork is weak, chips quickly appear, and the varnish falls off in pieces from plastic parts. The paint is peeling off under the trunk lid trim. The lower edges of the doors, the pillar supports are rusting. 